Hi, Chris here for Tank Attack and welcome to the channel. Well, today we are going to look at part one of the Power Toys with Color Picker. So let's get started now. For those of you who doesn't know how to or where to get the Microsoft Power Toys suites, just look down below. I will post a link for the video I made last week about this and also how to install it if you don't know how. In the meantime, you know that if you want, you can as well, since you are there, like, comment and subscribe. So, how to launch it once it's installed? You have a few options. The first one is, if you don't have it up here, here you may want to click first here and then you have the icon here. If you want it to appear here and it is not, you do a right click on the taskbar here, taskbar setting. Once you are here, you go to select which icon appears on the taskbar. Like so, let them load and on. As soon as I click here, you can look in here. If I remove it, as simple as that, of course, you have others if you want to. Or you can put a link here with a one click. But this is not really necessary. Or the other option is you go to the start menu and launch Power Toy. So now I launch Power Toy. And here in the general here, you can see that this is gray out. You can run this as administrator. And to turn this on, first you have to click here. If you want to know more about it, simply click here. Let this load. And basically, the reason if you want to use it is if you use a lot of fancy zone with the snapping tool, what sub program in the Power Toy are affected. If you need to run as administrator, I show you now when I press restart, it will close, and then this one will not be grayed out, and you turn it on. So I restart, and I have to double click again here. And now you can see, make this bigger, you can see that I can always run as administrator if I want to. Second one, it's the appearance behavior. You can change with the window color settings. Uh, here it's the window default, but I can put in the dark mode and we will stay in the dark mode for the rest of this tutorial. And in here, if you want further reading and understanding what what Sport Toys is about, you can read on those. You have the Power Toy versions here. You can check for updates, but for myself, I put it with automatic updates. Once we do that, we go to Color Picker. By default, it's off. You can see here that everything is grayed out, nothing happened. Here you have uh, the module overview, if you want to. This goes online and it tells you everything that I will tell you today. But if you don't want to read it on, you can continue from this. You can continue watching this video. This is the name of the programmer. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Now, all we have to do is to enable the color picker. So just turn it on, like so. This here is a shortcut. So if I press on my keyboard the window key at the same time, the shift and the C, this is what happened. You can see if I move around, I have the color appearing. You can see that the color that appears is a strange one. And this is the X value. You can select anything you want and it will give you the color. You have a small preview here of the color that you choose. And if you left click, the color is copied. Paste it, simply open a notepad, for example, or Word, and you press Ctrl V or right click and paste. I paste it two times. All right, so this is the hexadecimal value. Next, on the line, I have the RGB value. So each and every time, you will have to press Window key, Shift and C. So here it tells you you are in RGB and you can see you have the RGB details. So for example, the pure black is 000. All right, so if I left click, go here, here, we have the RGB value. The next one on the list will be the CMYK. Again, like so, pressing the shortcut on the keyboard. I copy it with a left click. I go here and I do my favorite Control and V, paste it. The next on the line is HSL. And I need again the shortcut. <laughs> and there you have the value for HSL, like so. You can see that all the values are quite different. 
Now the H, the next one HSV, the HSV values will be almost similar as the HSL, and I show you that when I paste here. I say almost, all right? But you can see there is a big disparity from this, this, and this one from the hexadecimal, the RGB, and the CMYK compared to the HSL and HSB. Of course, there is more formats, but those are the basics one. Another thing you can do, now I go to the website, click on the shortcut, and you can choose the color that you want. You can see all the shade of blue here. And even in the sun one, there is different colors. You can have purple, whichever, really, whichever color you want. And as you can see, sometimes your eyes deceive you. You think it's white, but actually, it is not. So, let's see. HSL, I'm 70. I copy this color here. I will paste it here, so we have the HSL, and there is a reason why I do so, eh? not to worry. And now I go to Color Picker, and I change to uh, RGB, and I do the shortcut again, one more time, and I do this one here. I go back and paste this. Now I will go to Paint, like so, and in Paint you have here, if you can see, Edit Colors. When you press here, you have HSL. I have to close this first, window arrow, like so. Let's put it here and like this. I reopen my editor here of color and HSL, if you look at here, I have 80, 53, 80. Press tab, 53, press tab and 59. So now you have your color and if you want, let's say there is a color that uh, you saw on the web, in the movie or whatever, you want to repaint your house or anything. You have the color that you wish. Now, for the RGB, I double click in the first one, which is the red, 112, press tab, 177, press tab, 192. And now, I press OK, and I have the other color that I selected. As you can see here. Yeah. Then, what you can do when you have this, you can, if you want, add the custom color and then you can use the palette. So I'll show you. I have this color here. I have to key in again A0, tab 53, tab 59. Add to custom color, sorry, press OK. And now we have it. Ah, one thing whichever you want from here. Another thing I wanted to show you, it's with the black color. In RGB, the black color will always be 000 as we saw earlier. However, in SHL, it is not. Reason being that if you select from here, it will still be black. But if you want the absolute black, it will be in the corner here. There, this is the absolute black. You can see you have different nuances of blacks in HSL. I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, you know what to do. By that, I mean you can do your YouTube things by pressing the like button if you want to. Subscribe, you may as well. Press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you don't like this, video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why so, I will try to improve for you. That's it for today, bye now guys and stay safe!